Let's talk about the the Batman. The Batman. <laughs> um, he actually started out a, as a comic book uh, a character in the 30s. Mm -hmm. And uh, was very popular from the get-go. Because he struck that archetypal nerve again. Mm -hmm. People That's why we're so drawn. It. Like, it feels familiar, right? Yes. And uh, the backstory is that he, his parents were murdered right in front of him, so he was orphaned from early on, and uh, developed this fear of, of the dark and bats. And He uh, fell into a well, and there were bats in there, and uh, all came at him at once. It caused this trauma yeah. in his life. Yes, which represents uh, kind of the hero's journey into the unconscious. Mm into the underworld mm -hmm. a and certainly facing the fear of the bat it's uh, almost like the uh, the comfort of the parent is gone and they, now he has to he's in the world alone and he has to now he's descended down into this well and to, to deal with these bats and then uh, future in the story he goes back into the well mm -hmm. to face his fear yes and the bat we know is a symbol of night mm. uh of um so blind too the underworld mm. they live in caves mm -hmm. um so sir it's it's associated with that darkness that mm. unknown uh also you get a warm and fuzzy feeling when you think of a bat you think <laughs> right although they're mammals yeah. and, they, and they do a great job and all that stuff but uh, yeah the, their association is with uh, vampire bats of course mm. of the night and mm. and um the yeah, if you think about the the back in the '30s, too, vampires were the, you know, that time. kind of theme. The boogeyman. Yeah, the boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they're, they're also the animal instinct, of course, mm. the the and animal nature that is comfortable in that darkness, mm. in that uh, primal mm. ooze of raw life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so uh, he he faces the. Um, well, he faces that the what he fears in the in the bat and mm. actually integrates them. Uh, so that is his. But his goal really is to be the uh, hero and put order back in things because he was a victim of a crime. He wanted to be the anti crime guy, like a fighting crime fighter, and so yeah. that's where he got his passion, his purpose is I want to put order in things. 